hey there in this video i'll show you how to unlock your kg locked phone the steps are easy if you updated your phone and it locked then this video is for you or you tried to use the adb method and your phone powers off or it doesn't work then watch this video from 725 but if you are new if you are new to unlock the phones watch it from the beginning here we go St first we need to get into recovery mode by pressing both volume and power button then you need to release the power button and keep pressing the volume up button once you are in recovery mode once you are in recovery mode wipe data factory data reset and then make sure you wipe cache wipe cache partition and then finally reboot your phone and if your phone takes long to boot you need to force restart it when i say force restart it i mean you need to press the power and the volume down power and volume down at the same time this will shut down your phone then you need to power it normally power and volume down press them at the same time and hold it until the phone screen is off now like now it's off so what you need to do is press the power button press the power button normally and the phone will take a shorter time to boot than waiting it for after after you did reset all phones take long to boot up just a minute be patient please be patient and if you if your phone just locked out of nowhere please make sure you disable google play store i just realized that a phone can update system update can download itself from google play store via google services i don't know how it connects but that's how i saw when i connected it to a wi-fi once once and the phone said the phone locked the phone locked okay what you need to do first you need to go to your computer or pc or laptop whichever you have then make sure you have some from frp tool the frp tool which will help us to enable adb and as i said if your phone doesn't work via adb method skip to 725 start from there start watching from there okay go to emergency and dial star hash zero star hash then you'll see the test mode then go and click on remove frp click on remove frp then it says go to emergency dial enter star zero star whatever then wait wait Please wait for a few seconds. A few seconds, then you'll see the allow USB pop up. It will appear. And please follow the instructions if you want your phone to work. The phone will work almost 95%. Don't allow, don't allow now. Don't allow now. Then go and close the program. Close it then go to cmd or adb whichever you have and if you don't have android platform tools please make sure you have them or else it will tell you adb cannot be recognized as internal or external command but if you have android platform tools it will run smoothly for you go and type the following command 
please bear with me if I'm typing slowly. It's because I'm holding the phone, recording while typing and making sure it is visible. So please bear with me. Once you type the following command, this command will disable the system UI on your phone. The system UI holds things like it has the role in locking the phone, the card, your SIM card pin lock, and screenshot, screen, screen recording. It, it's, it's the work of the system UI, so we need to disable it so that the phone may not lock since it holds the lock screen etc anything that locks won't lock won't function whoever discovered this congrats you need to disable the system ui system ui then go to your phone and allow make sure you allow now always allow make sure you click on always then allow because you are not yet finished and this is not the last process then hit enter then it will say demo started successfully android android system ui new state disabled user it's now disabled now let's go to the next step Let's go to the next step. Please be patient, be patient. Just a few seconds, just a few seconds. Be patient, be patient, be patient. Please be patient, just a few seconds. Make sure you have FRP Samsung by NK Team. Make sure you have FRP Samsung by NK Team. The logging password is just there. You don't need to worry about the password. Lo it is saved as login pass. It's a text document. It will come with a program. So don't worry how to get the password. I'll type it on the description below and make sure it's on cap lock you can either copy and paste or type it either way will work it works in both ways once you log in first thing we need to do here is we need to kill the update or else it won't work kill update then a uh, checking a db mode connected we allowed it on the previous program frp tool then you need to disable kg lock mtk adb mtk adb disable kg lock mdb adb mode connected Let's disable kg lock mtk manufacture samsung android 11 <clears throat> it works on all Androids. It will say your phone is locked because device services was uninstalled without authorization. Contact for more information. All you need to do is restart your phone. Just restart it. Please be patient as it lights. Be patient, be patient. Be patient, be patient, be patient. The phone will power on in a few seconds. And if you follow these instructions keenly, you will not you will not have any problems, you will not encounter any problems. It will run smoothly. The phone will work 95%. You will not be able to do things like screenshot, screen recording. And when a message comes, your phone it will be either on vibrate or it will be silent you won't hear a message sound checking a db mode connected operation disable kg locked operation done the phone will power in a few seconds as i was saying you will not be able to do 
some things like screenshot there will people there will people you'll have to download an app from play store or google chrome or apk pure i'll put everything on the description below all you need so that you won't have any problems as from here you want you want to set your phone normally it won't work normally because when you try to hit skip skip or turn off wi-fi turn on wi-fi it won't show anything it won't work so don't panic don't panic don't panic don't panic this solution here and it's the easiest to skip here all you need to do is select the program set the phone for us let's just sit back and relax okay go to frp tool by some firm not that one that is miss that's odin not that one mm, it's on the upper side yeah here then go and open it well you can allow it click yes allow i'm sure you're not new to these operations or whatever remove frp it won't ask you to enable adb since you had already enabled it previously and you and you did it always so just wait it will set the phone for you you just need to sit back and relax just relax frp remove successfully just wait for it to boot up and as i said please remember to disable play store the updates can come into your phone via play store google play store the system google the system update i'll show you once i i'll make a video on how to disable it if you are not able but it's but it's very easy on how to disable a play store or any application you can use either idb or go to settings go and clear data then disable the application and you won't have any problems android 11 is still better you don't need to go to 12 or 13 since android 12 has removed a lot of features also 13 it has removed a lot of features which were very very important i don't like it okay the phone here it will work it doesn't have navigation bar it doesn't have the the control center you'll have to download them or you can just click the link on my description below and install them on your phone the phone as i said it will work 95 percent or 90 percent it won't work 